So by reading the road well ahead, planning your route, you can try and avoid having to do an emergency stop. All right. But unfortunately, there will be some time in your driving career where you will need to do an emergency stop. All right. Okay. Now, the one thing we don't do on the emergency stop is we don't use the mirrors. We won't have time. Okay. Okay, so... Um, you should, if you've been using your mirrors correctly while we've been driving around, know fairly well what's behind you. All right, yeah. But in the emergency stop, um, and if, if the situation's um, dictated you've got a large truck right on your back bumper, you would have slowed down some anyway to give you more, more chance, yeah? So, All right, yeah. So, and the, if unfortunately someone does run into the back of you and you, you do the emergency stop, it's perhaps better that we have a bit of a bump at the back of the car than knock a young kitty over. All right. Yeah. Okay. So no mirrors. Um, what we do need for this is reactions, quick reactions. Okay, because you need to get off the gas pedal and onto the brake quickly. Right. But we don't want to when we apply the brake, slam the brake down. We want firm, progressive braking. Right. But you know how when you normally brake, you just ease off a little bit at the end? Yeah. This you don't, you just keep it going down till it's fully on. All right. And like most modern cars, this car has uh, a braking system called ABS. Do you know what ABS means? No. It's anti-lock brakes. All right. All right. And what it would mean, it means is that the there's sensors on the wheel so that before the, the wheels will actually lock up and stop, the, the car automatically releases them. And if you press very hard, sometimes you will feel a, like a vibration under your foot. All right. If you feel that, don't worry, don't take your foot off the brakes, just keep your foot there, that's perfectly normal. Oh, okay, right. All right that's, um, now, some cars with ABS require you to um, put the clutch down at the same time as you're braking. This car doesn't. You, you can leave the clutch much later but whenever you once you've passed your test whichever car you get you need to look in the owner's handbook under the abs all right to yeah. see what type of um system it's using yeah some old really old cars don't have abs at all and you would have to use a, a system called cadence braking which is rapidly releasing and applying the, the brake pedal but we won't need to do that today or in this vehicle because it's not there but it is it is something that you so how do I know the car that, that maybe has nothing again with the owner's handbook will tell you what sort of braking system the car would have if I can't find the owner's handbook um, then you could um, contact a, a main dealer or or perhaps even find it online now, there's nothing on the car that tells me that it's got ABS in. Uh, some cars do have a symbol on the, on the braking system when you turn on your lights. All oh, right. A little system comes up that's got like a oh, that's rock, handy to know, yeah. rocking car. Yeah. Yes. Um, when we, so we will practice the, 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 your reactions from the gas to the brake now, if, if you want. So if you hold the steering wheel as if you was driving, oh. foot on the gas as if you was driving. Um, and when, when we're gonna do the emergency stop, I will look over my right shoulder, yeah. then hold my hand up and say stop in quite a loud voice. Right. All right? So that you'll know that's the signal to stop. Not if I just happen to say, oh, can we stop on the left here? I'll try not to say stop on the I'll try to say pull up on the left here. But, but if I, to distinguish. So when I see you look over your right shoulder. And then I, I'll, my hand goes up and says stop, then. Well, I could. I could second guess you there, couldn't I? As soon as you look over your right shoulder. No, because I may not want to do it, Tony, because oh, right, there yeah. might be something behind us or or it might be not the right time to be able to do the emergency stop. So wait for both signals. My my hand and the word stop. All oh, right, that's all you want me to respond to here. Yeah? Yes, right. not not my looking round or... Because, yeah. again, on your test, the examiner won't want you to oh, try right. and second guess him and stop when he's not expecting it. Because right. we could... It could be wrong and we could have okay, someone in the back. I've got that now. Good. Okay. So, we'll give that a try now. Um, stop. That wasn't too bad, but I think you could have nipped over just a little bit quicker. 
Right. Onto the, onto the brake pedal. Um, and keep it right the way down, yeah? We'll try that again. Stop. Yeah, that's that's not too bad. We'll we'll see how that goes when we get on. Is that as on. quick as you do it, then? I think so, it's getting a... We could have a race, couldn't we? You've got pedals down there, haven't you? Yeah, but my pedals don't move. That I can't see what's happening. No, so we could have a race, you could... Yeah, I'd, but... Yeah. I could see if I beat you, couldn't I? Well, you could do, but we won't. We'll carry on with the... Right. <laughs> with this. Going to make it interactive, isn't it? <laughs> uh, no, not really. Because I'm not sure that I could... Um, I'd have to shift your seat and stuff, and then you'd be all that... You'd have to be shifting it around again. Um, so when we when we apply the the, the, um, the brakes, then just as the car's going to come to a stop, then we put the clutch down. But don't worry too much about that. I'll tell you that when we're right. we're doing it. But also make sure that you keep both hands on the wheel, firm grip, but don't steer. All right. Um, And then, when we've when we've stopped, handbrake on into neutral. Okay. Um, the car can sometimes, when you do an emergency up, skid. All right. Now, if for argument's sake, say the back of the car is going to the right, or in the, in this case, we will use this picture, the car's going to the left. Back of the car's going to the left. We steer to the left to bring the car back into line. Yeah. yeah? But I wouldn't worry too much about that today um, because we won't be doing any skidding. It's a fairly dry, nice road, so I think we'll be okay for that. All right. Now, the reason that we might so, have... So, if the back of the car is skidding to the left... You turn to the left. Right. If the back of the car is skidding to the... Right, you turn to the right. Right, just coming out of roll there. I don't know why you just... Um, why you wouldn't skip past the skidding bit, yeah? Um... We started off explaining and then thought, oh well, I'll skip that because not, we're not going to be skidding today, yeah? And, well, I didn't mean it to come across like that. Yeah, you should have given me both yeah. both bits of information, yeah? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, the reason we might have to do an emergency stop is, is um, in, in this instance here, someone pulled out across the crossroads in front of us. Right. Um, once we've, um, there's also other reasons why you could have a need to do, do an emergency stop, is sort of like school children suddenly rushing out in front of you, those sorts of things. Once we've come to a stop with the car, before we move off, we must make sure, and this is the important bit, we must make sure it's safe to move. So we do a six point, look all round the car all right. through every piece of glass all right yeah so we, we we check starting on this rear door door rear, rear door window yeah, yeah. <laughs> this one the door mirror front screen middle mirror right hand door mirror and over your right shoulder through the head restraint all right. there so we make sure there's because we're looking for as an example, if, if we've nearly locked over little Johnny, you go to pull away and mum's come rushing out from behind you to find out what's happened, you could knock her over instead. Yeah. Yeah, so we need to, to have all-round observation. Um, as to the reaction, um, as you can see in this, this picture, just to go back over reaction times again, if you imagine at 20 mile an hour, you're going to cover half the distance before you actually apply the brake. So reaction time is really important. We'll see how we get on once we we try this. All right. All right. But when we're going to do the emergency stop, I will I will say to you, don't check the mirrors because you won't have time. Keep both hands on the wheel and don't steer. And I'll tell you when to put the clutch on. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, and if we do happen to stall, it's not the end of the world. All right. Stalling with the emergency stop is not. It, you've still stopped. Yeah. And that's the the important thing in in the exercise is to come to a stop under control. Yeah. 
And if you happen to stall, well, it's not, it's not anything to worry about. All right. We'll just deal with that. And of course, when we go to pull away, after we have done the emergency stop and we've done our safety check, we need to make sure we're in the right gear, which will be first gear. Yeah. Yes. So, crossed and forward to make sure. Any questions? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. When you're ready then, do your normal cockpit drill. Oh, I'm just driving the car so I haven't moved anything. Yeah, good. Okay. Let's get that paused. 